Thank you very much. My name is Nasser Ali Ahmed. I represent Nasser Afidal Conspiracy and I'm from Canberra State. Um, <clears throat> well, the question you've asked, you know there's a popular saying and it goes like this. If you fail to plan, <clears throat> you have planned to fail. Um, first of all, if you look at uh, within the last six years, the price of crude oil has been over $125 a barrel. And within that time, if we had planned well, just like other countries like Qatar, Saudi Arabia, um, United Arab Emirates, if we had planned very well within that time, I don't think we would have had a problem today. Saudi Arabia had saved about $600 billion within that time. They were saving for a rainy day. And what did we do? We, didn't, we had no plans. And um, as you know, um, there, is, there is also an economic saying which goes like this, that you must, um, you, 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 spend, you spend after saving. You don't save after spending. So, with the new government in place now, there is absolutely no option, absolutely no option, that to deregulate the down, downstream sector. And if we keep on going like this, um, I know times are hard. It's, it's, it's very obvious, everybody knows that. But if we keep on going like this, then I can assure you we'll reach a stage where we cannot even pay salaries in Nigeria. And the economy will collapse completely. So I believe that it is um, not an issue of timing. Timing does not come into place now because it's, it's an issue of necessity. It must be done. And um, I also believe that by the grace of God, after a while, Nigerian will, Nigerians will start to feel the um, effects. Um, as for the um, measures that have been taken by the government to cushion these effects, of course we know um, about 8 million or 10 million Nigerians will benefit from the grants that will be given. And then also, apart from that, um, the government is also opening up avenues in agriculture and solid minerals. Employment still will be uh, generated. There will be new employment. So I believe we will feel the effects of, um, of the, the cushioning effects later on. But for now, um, I will plead to Nigerians to bear with the government and let them know that this is not something that, was, uh, that came in because of the mismanagement of this government. It is the previous government that should have planned. And even if it was the previous government that was in this situation, it would have even been worse.